Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with um, our last case of 2018 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. This is kind of a bummer. Uh, I hope we'll get some more, so keep an eye out on jazbeeshobbyland.com to see if we get more of this. Uh, this is pick your team number five, half case from a fresh case, our last case. And thanks to these folks for getting in on the 23rd. Robert with Last Bought Mojo Morocco. And remember, if you bought at least three teams in this break, you'll get one entry in our $75 break credit promo, winner take all. All right, so there's the list right there. Here's our case. Second half is already in the store and almost in single digits, so make it happen. Remember, if you just got to buy at least three teams for one entry. If you buy more than three teams... You, uh, you're, you get to block someone from getting a promo spot, which will help your odds. Because it's just one entry max. All right, you can see the top row of six. Right, right along there. And then there's a bottom row of six. Right there. So I'm going to roll the die. One, two, three for the top row. Four, five, six for the bottom row. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the top row will be reserved for break number six. This is We're doing break five right now. So I'll mark all these number six. I'll actually keep these... My World Cup sticker book. We're getting stickers, ladies and gentlemen. They might be for, uh, I might reserve those for some giveaways, maybe, for those of you who have sticker books. I'll need proof of life on those sticker books. So. All right, so like I said, break number six already in the store. So check it out. So who's here for the soccer break? Anybody watching live? Bill is. Bill has. Bill is looking for anything Buffon or Henri. So he has France and Italy, of course. All right. Good luck, folks. As you know by now, not all boxes have autographs. Some of them have nice low number parallels, though, which could sell just as well, if not, if not better. So right here on a Saturday, the 23rd, today's games, the early game, what was the, was the early game the Korea-Mexico game? Maybe. Anyhow, there are three games today. One of them was Korea-Mexico. Mexico beating the Koreans 2-1. They have a great chance to win that group. They have a great chance to win that group. Germany with a late, 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 last second winner, 2-1 over Sweden, which keeps their uh, keeps their possible group win hopes alive. Although I think a lot has to happen for that for that to actually happen. But if they lost or maybe even tied, I don't think that would have been good. Not good. Not good for their their advancement chances. Uh, Belgium looks strong. They beat Tunisia five two today. They seem to cruise. So that'll be a dangerous team. If they're firing on all cylinders, it's a dangerous team. Uh, tomorrow, yeah, this is just the first box, Mr. x -Line. Tomorrow, what matches do we have? The early match will be uh, England against Panama. England still has a still has a chance to try to win that group, although the goal differential may not help them. But they can they can secure another three points. Uh, Japan Senegal are playing. Both of them are at the top of the group, tied it with a, a win apiece from their first match. So we'll see what happens there. 
And then the late game will be Poland, Colombia, who each have zero points. So someone's going to walk away with at least a point. King D in the house needs a, needs a Spain one of one. Sure. They're easy. Those are easy. So that's your matchups for uh, for Sunday. All right, box number one of six. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got. There's a uh, Ianacho for Nigeria. Three out of ninety-nine. Nigeria doing Argentina a favor by beating Iceland. That goes to Kip Kip Hooray. Nicholas Bentner. Those I'm kind of breezing by if you're new to this break. I'm breezing by those because they're not numbered, but they will ship. Only the It's only these commons that won't ship. There's Paul Pogba and Antoine Griezmann, Connections Refractor. I, think, I don't think those are too common, so let's leave those up. And an autograph, Nino wants an autograph. Is this going to be for him or for someone else? It's for England. It's for Ray, Deli Alley. The exciting midfielder for Tottenham and for the Three Lions. They'll be in action early tomorrow. That's going to be a DVR game for me. So these ones aren't numbered either. They look cool, though. Hey, you're welcome, Ray. Thanks for getting in. Who's actually – anybody actually think how uh, think that the Russians could go far? That home field advantage is huge. I'll save one of those messies for Ashley. Nicholas Bentner. Wish we could see more of Mohamed Salah, but – Privately, I'm kind of ha as a Liverpool supporter, I'm kind of happy because less chance of him getting injured. But I wonder if if that home field advantage could help Russia go far in the World Cup. Alex Iwobi, Nigeria. Out of one ninety nine, it's another one for Kip. Kip, hooray! Julian Drexler. Sorry, resale value on what, Mr. Exline? There's Tony Cruz. Cruz had that incredible goal in the very last dying seconds of the match to give Germany the win. Oh, King D. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Carry on. That was a question for King D. Mesurosil Refractor. And that's box one. So there's your autograph right there, Deli Ali. And we'll make sure these are top loaded too before they get sent out. Okay, let's set these right there. All right. Next box. Now, before you know it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have a, we'll be in the the round of sixteen, the knockout stages, which will be crazy. Let's see. So I, the Sunday game. So tomorrow's once again tomorrow morning's matches are England Panama, five a.m. Pacific, eight p eight a.m. Eastern. Then the second game is Japan Senegal, eight a.m. Pacific, eleven a.m. Eastern, and then the late game will be eleven a.m. Pacific. 2 p.m. Eastern. That's Poland, Colombia. That Japan Senegal match should be pretty interesting, too. Um, on Monday, we're off on Monday, but there's four games on Monday um, Saudi Arabia and Egypt will be a matchup there. That's just for, I guess, bragging rights, regional bragging rights, I guess. Uruguay, Russia 
I think that's to win the group, to win group A. And Russia has been looking strong with that home pitch advantage. Then we have Iran, Portugal. Iran, Portugal. I think I think Portugal needs to win. I, they should win for them to either advance or win that group. And then Spain, Morocco. I think that's also a game the Spanish need to win to, to win in the group. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, Josh is like, I know. It must be shocking to Joe, but I don't, I don't collect a lot of soccer. Don't PC a lot of soccer. It's a good time to kind of get into it, X-Line. The resale value is good. Um, this, this stuff, too. This is still 2018, so this is the latest Prism World Cup. So, yeah, you'd be surprised at how, like, you can find, like, an out of 99 or something like that, non-auto. Non and you'll be like, holy crap, why does this sell for, like, 25 bucks? It'll, it'll surprise you. It's kind of like basketball in that sense. Where like the resale value of even just seemingly high numbered parallels of just base cards will still go and sell well. But a World World Cup, I mean, if you collect soccer once every four years, it's a good time to do it. You know, it's also great for the kids. Is the uh, is the sticker books? You can buy these. These are like three bucks at like a Seven Eleven or something like that. And I think you can buy those stickers retail, like at Target or Walmart. I think we're getting some next week, which we may give away, possibly in some breaks. Maybe Noir if that Noir soccer break doesn't move. Uh, Idrissa Guai, Senegal. That goes to. James S, 4 out of 65 on that one. Or on Gunnarsson. I thought Iceland was going to win that match. Lewandowski for Poland. There's Harry Kane for England. For France, for Le Bleu, Olivier Giroud, silver. And have some value there. We got Pedro Gaisi for Peru. That's blue for Peru, for the X line. 46 out of 199. And we've got the autograph is for Iceland, Gilfi Sigurdsson. I think who missed a penalty. He's he's probably the best player on Iceland. He's in the Premier League as well, English Premier League. Eric Jennings with that one. Missed some oppor missed opportunities for Iceland, but uh, nice ink though. All right, next box. And then what are the next matches after Monday? What about Tuesday? Yeah, we still have some more matches on Tuesday. We've got Australia, Peru. I think Australia has maybe an outside shot of advancing. Denmark, France. Denmark would have to beat France, I think, to advance. Iceland, Croatia. Croatia, I think, has a commanding lead in that group. And then there's Nigeria, Argentina. Argentina has to win 
and I think maybe get some goal difference help and some help from other teams to advance. It'd be crazy if Argentina did not advance out of that group. Then on Wednesday, and we'll, we'll be back on Tuesday, so we'll be talking about all these matches then too. Wednesday, Korea, Germany. That might be sad time for the Koreans. Uh, Mexico, Sweden. Mexico looking to win their group. I had Mexico to win the group plus 550, so I'm definitely rooting for them there. Serbia, Brazil. That should be a good matchup too. And then Switzerland, Costa Rica. I think Switzerland still might have an outside chance of advancing. They beat Costa Rica. So then these are all the third and final group matches. Then next Thursday would be England, Belgium, Japan, Poland, Senegal, Colombia, Panama, Tunisia. And then we got a day off on Friday. And then next Saturday, Saturday the 30th, will be when uh, the knockout stages start, the round of 16. One and done's right there. So then it'll be, it'll be pretty interesting to see how the how the group winners and advancers settle out, who faces who, and um, who faces who, and who advance keeps continues to advance. Could be some Cinderella teams there. Good luck, everyone. Next box. There's the biter, Luis Suarez, former Liverpool man, current Barcelona man. Going to Uruguay, the X-Line with Luis Suarez. 121 out of 149. A scorer of great goals and a great goal scorer. Looks like another autograph behind Laurent Koscielny is Manuel Neuer. Nice Manuel Neuer for Germany. That goes to Gabriel. Nice autograph. There's Mesut Ozil, Scores Club, Refractor. We'll save one of these Cristiano Ronaldo's for Portugal, too. Neymar, Scores Club. And Dusan Tadic for Serbia. That goes to James S. 14 out of 199 on that one. We'll save a Neymar for Brazil. Jan Vertanyan. You know what we haven't seen in a while is one of those landmark cards. Or the city cards, or maybe even a group card. Those are really short printed, and they they carry a lot of value. Secondary market. There you go. We're halfway through the six box break. Good luck, everyone. Bill was saying earlier that that third goal, that third goal that Argentina gave up, that's what really kind of screwed them. 
yeah, that kind of made made the goal difference battle a little bit a little bit more difficult. Is anybody playing that uh, that predictor game? The ESPNFC.com match predictor game. I haven't, I haven't checked that in a while. I made all of my picks. I haven't checked it in a while. I have 620 points. That means nothing to me. Like, what? what is... What, where am I? Ran there are the rankings. 620 points puts me at 28,539th place overall with 620 points. The leader has 850 points. How does that person have 850 points? Chow VC Silva is is the is not even tied tied for second or anything like that. By ten points, he's ten points clear. First, I don't know what you win. You get points for guessing the the final score or the result of the match. The guessing the final score. And then some other like player or team props. And I forget I forget what you win. What were my best picks? What did I did I nail any of them? Looks like I got full points for Egypt Uruguay way back when. I correctly predicted the score 1-0. There you go. These other games. Oh, I actually got Argentina, Iceland. I predicted I predicted a 1-1 draw, and that's exactly what happened. So I got full points for that. Some of the other ones I didn't do well on. Looks like I got 40 points for Sweden, Korea. 1-0 to Sweden. Got zero points on that Colombia, Japan game. Whiffed on that. But I nailed Poland, Senegal. Senegal 2, Poland 1. Got 0 for Portugal, Morocco. These other games I didn't do very well on. Korea, Mexico I got. 2-1. Got that result correct. I don't know what they... I actually don't know what you can win. With the if if you if you get points in this whatever league that there here let me flip screens for a second it's just match predictor so I'm sure there's some sort of prize that you can you can win or maybe it's just for bragging rights it's got to be a prize. Maybe not. All right. Well, next box. Good luck, everybody. We got Anibal Godoy, Giovanni dos Santos, Panama Blue King D, sixty-four out of one ninety-nine. And another autograph. Germany. That's Bastian Schweinsteiger. Another German autograph for Gabriel Alhas. Very nice. All right, let's see if we can find some low number of parallels in here too. Daniel Sturridge for England. Irving Lozano, goal scorer. Chicharito back there as well. It's a nice one to get from Mexico. Then we've got Jefferson Farfan for Peru. That'll be for the X-Line. That Mexico refractor will go to Senyin. 33 out of 65. 
We'll save a Lionel Messi as well. We'll see how he bounces back. A lot of people saying that Argentina's body language is not very good. But they've been handed a lifeline, so let's see if they take it. Or let's see if they just roll over and give up. Argentina has so much talent, though. I think from what I understand, and I don't know too much about Argentinian football, but they've got a lot of great individual players. But I think it's kind of becoming clear that it's it's coaching. Like the coach are just really the – I forget who the coach is, but he's not putting the right guys on the field in the right combinations, not making the right tactical changes during the game, blah, blah, blah. So fundamentals refractor. Courtois for Belgium. That goes to Andy S. So I think that's been kind of the, the big deal. Because, you know, I feel like with the talent that Argentina has, you know, they, they should be able to, to waltz through the group, but they haven't. Uh, Bill is saying, so the Argentine FA is a mess? How so? Maybe there's maybe maybe it maybe it comes from the top. Now, Argentina did struggle to qualify for the World Cup in general. It took some like late minute, last minute uh, heroics from Messi, I think, in the last qualifying game for Argentina to even advance. So maybe that was that was a sign. That's why when I was putting a couple pennies on some of these countries before the World Cup started, that's why I didn't really go with Argentina. I just, I just didn't have. The, first off, more most importantly, I think I don't think the value was there. It wasn't very good value. I think Argentina was too heavily favored in most situations. But then also, I just didn't have a good feeling about that. Bill saying, "Oh, it's it, it's a corruption issue." I guess I kind of have heard about that. I feel like they, they don't really invest in the national team with with the amount of money they should have. They don't. I, I feel like there's some, been some issues there, as well. Bill saying it's so corrupt it makes FIFA look like, look like the Make a Wish program. Uh, yeah, Gilo. On Colombia, uh, there is uh, James Rodriguez, the dynamic striker for Colombia. Some other guys there too, and they've got some. They've got a couple old school guys. All right. Good luck, everyone. Our second to last box, and the second half is already in the store. Last Before we started the break, we had 10 countries left. Now we have seven left. <clears throat> so check it out. We got Furyani Sasi for Tunisia out of 149. There's Sasi again. Tunisia, that goes to the X-Line. X-Line all about the Tunisian national team. 63 out of 149. I couldn't name one player on this team. Maybe this guy. But that's about it. And, wow! I saw three names on the back. And it is a triple auto. Harry Kane... His teammate Deli Alley on his club team, Tottenham, and Liverpool's Jordan Henderson. Three Lions for the three Lions. That goes to England. Ray with the triple auto. Woo! I like this. 26 out of 30. That is nice. 
That is a strong one right there. Hey, you're welcome, Ray. Thanks for getting in. You are welcome. That is strong. Does England have a chance, folks, to win the whole thing? They have not won the World Cup. Gosh, they, I don't think they haven't even been in a final in a major international tournament since 1966. I feel like for the first time in a long time, this year, there's Chicharito, this year there hasn't really been a lot of, uh, hasn't really been a lot of pressure on the England team. I think everyone's just like, eh, all right, whatever happens, happens, I guess. But I wonder if that kind of year will, will result in the year that they have a great campaign. Lameni Gassama for Senegal, blue. But, um, yeah, they, they looked, I mean, it took a late goal from Harry Kane to, to, to get the all three points, Ray, but, but it's, it's not like as if throughout the entire game they were bad. They were always looked like they were going to threaten for that, for those full points. 001 out of 199 on that one for Senegal. That'll be for James. So uh, we'll see how they do in tomorrow's match. That'll that'll be a good indicator of where their heads are at. There's Guillermo Ochoa at the end. Uh, Gilo says, I don't know anything about soccer, but Mexico looks good. They do, tentatively. Well, they that 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 win against Germany was huge. That definitely helped them big time to 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 probably probably win that group. The thing is, they did not look lucky. To win, to beat Germany, they looked like they completely deserved that win. They played very well, and so, and they didn't lose. They did. They did what they needed to do against a weaker opponent like Korea. That was a huge uh, win there. And if they, and they could, they could win out in the group. They could beat Sweden. I think would be the next matchup. Now, once they, it's going to be. Listen, if they keep playing the way they have. They could beat almost any country on any day, you know. But I think – what group are they? They're in Group F, and I think Group F meets – if they win Group F, they'll meet the runner-up of Group E, and that's going to be Brazil or Serbia. You know what I mean? So that's going to be tough. If Serbia wins that group – and Mexico have to face Brazil in the round of 16. That might not be not not be good for them. And Serbia is not not an easy team to unlock either if they're the runners up. So, but hey, a little bit of luck here and there. You never know. So, Stavro saying that Mexico isn't going anywhere after after the group stages. Gilo says, but I also root for Cristiano Ronaldo because you're all about tax evasion. I'm not sure if you should be you should be saying that publicly. Although your full name is not in the chat, so I guess that's okay. The government that's watching the YouTube chat. Andy likes Croatia. Yeah, Croatia's been looking pr like a pretty complete team. Strong defense, timely goals. So that's key to success. Yeah, they are, they are definitely a physical bunch, that's for sure. Andy S. actually has um, <laughs> G-Lo saying they can't get me. Kidding. Yeah, that's what that's what Capone said. Um, Andy S. actually won a group in our promo, ladies and gentlemen. He has. He's in this break, too. Um, he's got Group G. You could have a World Cup winner in Group G. He might be able to win the promo. Belgium and England, those are his best chances. Belgium looks good. Uh, 
All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. We've got uh, Pizzek for Poland. Blue, that'll be for Gabriel at a 199. These aren't numbered either, but they will still ship out to you. Then we've got Gustav Svensson, Sweden. Oh yeah, you didn't watch the video? Yeah, Andy, you got you got randomized group G. 75 out of 125 for Sweden. Bill Mosher with that one. Yeah, Senyin got randomized group A. Shannon with group B. Rory with group C. Senyin got another entry with group D. Jason L. got group E, also group F. And then you got group G, and TJ got group H. Alvaro Morata out of 125 for Spain. That'll be for King D. Hey, you're welcome. Philip Kostich, thanks for getting to the breaks. Give yourself a chance to win, and you did. Philip Kostich for Serbia. That'll be for James S. I wonder if there's an auto or maybe a low-numbered card in this one. 99 out of 99. Uh, Ali Reza... Bier van, Bier van Vand. Nailed it. Alright, who has a Ron? Daniel Patera. And looks like that might be it. Maybe there seems to be a lot more of these. So maybe it's some sort of some kind of type of hot box. All of those will ship, of course. Yeah, it looks like that's that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Time to give away some break credit. So, as we said in the item description, I'm sure everybody read it. If you have at least three teams, that gets you one entry. For a chance at 75, winner take all, $75 of break credit. So let's sort by column A. Andy bought three teams. He has a shot at money. Bill bought three teams. He has a shot at money. Daniel Patera, three teams, has a shot at money. So does King D. He has got three. Gabriel does as well. James has three. The X line has three. Kip has three. Nino has three. Ray has three, Robert has three, and Senyin has three. There you go. So there is a total of 12. That's a one out of 12 chance to get 75 bucks of break credit. I like those odds. Best odds you'll probably get in, uh, in any one of our promos that we do on jazpiecehobbyland.com, and we do a lot of these. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list five and a one, six times. Name on top, get 75 bucks. One, two, Three, four, five, and a one for six times. Sixth and final time, name on top. Nino, 75 bucks of break credit coming your way. He took my advice. I said, he, he won break credit a few nights ago in, in one of these Prism World Cup breaks. And I said, Nino, just buy more teams in Prism World Cup. Win break credit with your break credit. And he did. Congrats. Nice break. Thanks, everybody. Second half is in the store, and then we don't have any more Prism World Cup for the time being. So check it out. Try to win money like Nino. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.